Hi guys, we've moved out of our house. We've been to Oregon and now I'm at my sister's house. We're biding our time till we can move into our new house. I'm gonna put in some, some sneak peek photos of our new house here, just some from the outside. I want some help decorating. I'm not a decorator. I have no idea what to do or how to go about doing it. So it has to be kid friendly, whatever we do. I collect cookie jars and I need a place to put them. And my cabinets in my new house go all the way to the ceiling in the kitchen. And that's where I kept all my cookie jars before. And the things I've thought of initially to do in this house just seem kind of tacky to me. So I'm not wanting to do that. I have one idea. I'm going to put it up here. I saw this cabinet at a yard sale right as we were moving out. So I obviously I couldn't go get it, but I could find something like that. Okay. So if you have any really brilliant ideas for displaying cookie jars, but really we didn't take anything with us furniture wise. Um, if you know of anything that's indestructible, let me know. Cause I have nine boys. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but nine and everything gets destroyed hopefully they'll spend more time outside at this place because the outside space is amazing so here we go and we're like i said very excited i just i don't know how i'm going to make it through this week actually because i want to go right now here's another thing in our new house we have um central vac and I've been told by some people like, oh, you're never gonna wanna go back. It's the most amazing thing in the world. But I have a feeling most people don't have nine boys. And so like, I, I can just see it now, them flipping up those flaps and just stuffing everything they can in there. So I've been online looking and looking and looking for ways to um, stop that from happening. And I think I might have seen one childproofing method for the central back spots. But can I just tell you, I, I was looking online and people have asked the same question I've asked. How do you childproof your central back system? And some people, I don't know if they just never had kids or what, but they're like, just tell your kids not to touch them. Okay. All right, I'm going to try that. I'm going to see how that works. Because as soon as you're not in the same room as them, or as soon as they get curious, they're going to touch it. They're going to lift the flap. They're going to see what they can stick in there. And I've read a lot of people who have said that their vac central vac is just clogged because their kids keep stuffing stuff in there. And other people are so nice, and they're just like, hey, you just need to teach your kids not to do that. Which, yeah, I agree. You need to teach your kids not to do that. But it's going to take some effort and some time. And... Um, in the meantime, they're probably going to clog it up and ruin it. So I need to be, I need to have a preventative method before I try to teach them not to touch it. So the only thing I can find so far are these refrigerator locks that use kind of, I don't know, it's not glue, but tape or whatever. One side to one door of the fridge and the other side to the other, and there's kind of like a buckle. Um, so on the central back spots, you can put one side on the wall and one side on the flap. And then um, supposedly they won't be able to figure out the locking mechanism. So if you have any brilliant ideas or suggestions on how to prevent the kids from destroying the central back system, that would be awesome. I've got so much swirling around in my head and I just want to be at my house and I want to be putting stuff in there. Okay, so wish me luck to get through this week.